gonna put you there. Was I forgetting something? Was I forgetting something? Oh, hold up here. Come on. There we go, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. Hell you yeah, dude. you there, yes he is. Yes. Alright, he's got the engines going. Perfect. Really? Prepare to die! Tor Fornex! Kill me or something? No, this. <laughs> Dork, guys. I can heal. Fuck. God, son of a bitch. understand something. At this point in time, I've gotten rid of all five or six of the Stog Commanders, which that also includes you, but technically speaking that now has dropped down to either five or four, but once you understand something, Mr. Commander Stow, that you're all what's left. The leaders of the stock. 
So without further ado, I would like to introduce you to my good friend, Jojo the Bat. Now Jojo the Bat here has killed off a lot of enemies. I'll only list a few of them like Jeff the Killer, Stoic, and even beat the shit out of Abel. Oh, wait, maybe it hasn't. At least not yet. Anyways, I'd like to let you meet Jojo. Like this uh, place here? Kind of reminds me of a little bit of uh, Base 16 from my series. You won't get away, Torfolex. You won't get away. You hear me? I'm not scared of you. No matter who killed Bleach, me, and all the other star commanders, but you haven't killed off all the stog. You fool, you've made a big mistake. Oh, I'm gonna like this. <laughs> Took it like a champ. Oh, I ain't done yet.
See what thou had to say. What the fuck? The hell are you? That's out of bullets. To our help. Help. Stop. Nice try. <sighs> Like you just got rid of him for me. Thanks. Dogs, always barking. All right. Oh god! Should not have bought those space dogs from that space dealer. Oh shit! Welcome back to the land of the living there, Billy Hayes. Welcome back to my ship. It's been, how long has it been? Like 40 some plus years you've been back on this ship, technically. It's been five days for B, okay, trust me. It took, I took care of the stog on the rusted raptor. You weren't there exactly, or at least there in the head. Four days since I single-handedly took on the might of the Stark fleet, not to mention the death of Leet. My God! Finally got rid of that asshole. The other three days, on the other hand, have just been absolutely insane. I tell you. I mean, God stop. Almighty. Stop. Please, stop. On the third day, if I remember correctly, it blew up base 16. Uh, let me see. Oh, yeah, keep in mind, it's I haven't had... No, <laughs> hardly any sleep. 
really should get sleep after I'm drinking non-stop pop for the last couple of days. Sugar rush. Oh, it's, it's too much. Uh. Which I find so easy to do. I mean, it's like you could search them up on anywhere, on Google Maps or, you know, Google Earth, whatever. You know, it's easy to find their bases. I just don't understand, you know, that the, the foundation couldn't do it. I mean, but whatever. I mean, yesterday, I guess, while in the process of getting rid of, getting ready to take on Carnivex, <clears throat> Karn and his buddy Delface, his button buddy, sent some time traveling assassins to kill me while I was on my ship traveling to different points in time throughout history. Which actually happened the day before yesterday, but. and yesterday. Yeah, that's right. Silly me. Yeah, it was yesterday. Jesus. Silly me. Silly, silly, silly me. I'm getting old, you know. Yesterday uh, is when I saved Oscar Dubs from the hands of uh, Colonel Vidham. That was, that was something, I tell you. Stop talking. For God's sake, man. I've just lost my body from to the stog. It's been, my God, it's been 40 years. Oh. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, just relax, dude. Just relax. Turning the page on the manual, okay? You don't have to... You don't have to get a big dick. Wait, okay, wait, let's not let's not get a big dick. Okay, you're you don't doing want that again. You're doing it again. Stop. Here, stop okay? it. Stop talking. Sorry, man. Where where are my manners? Nowhere. It's been a long five days of traveling through space. Okay, give me a goddamn break. Okay, I've been going through some shit. I've been dealing with mercenaries teleporting inside my ship. Cybernetic zombies. Okay, this dog. Not to mention I have to deal some dancing alien that was dancing on this chair right here where I'm sitting not to mention I have to deal with a bunch of space triples killer space triples to be exact infected with space aids okay that's a thing all right it's been, it's been a lot man it's been a lot okay I can only take so goddamn much all right Billy god damn then I mentioned the three or four days I got in touch with my alternate variations of myself that was fun they were willing to help me take on Carn Vex, my ultimate variations. God bless them. After all, I helped them kill eight variations of Carn uh, Vex. That was like 20 years ago. Stop! That was a strange time, you know. The strangest ass time. I, I don't even remember. Sorry, Sugar Rush. Sugar Rush, man. Sorry, Sugar Rush. You know... You know, drinking too much of that stuff, you know, could cause you some serious health problems, you know. T too much... Uh, too much... Sugar, sugar Rush. Pop can cause diabetes. <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. Drinking too much of this stuff. Really, we can give you type 2 diabetes if you were human, which I'm not. Devil face? You said about uh, something along the lines of, of some time traveling assassin by the name of Devil face. The, 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 the Devil face wears a mask that's red, works for the Tethat Hydrant aliens. What? Uh, or the alien by the name of uh, Karn and Vex? So you know, so wait a minute, you, you know them? Know them? I used to be a member of Devilface's Gash, or at least that's what he called it. At any rate, the, the, the dreaded ten. You know, the, the Devilface told me that he was a clone, or slash hybrid of you, part of a human... Part Tartek Hath or some shit like that. Somehow, I guess, I, uh, the, the biotech you talk industry in the year 2138. You know, this. Devil Face told you about. told you this. You know, 
How in... Wait. Wait a minute. Wait. 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 Hold up. Wait. Wait one. Wait. 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 Wait one. Hold. Why in the ass? How the hell did the Biotech Utaka Corporation manage to get my goddamn DNA? What did they do? Get one of my jizz napkins and made a clone? Does that make him my son? Allegedly, okay? Alright? Alright? I'm, I'm not paying for child welfare if that's, what it, if that's the case. There, no, no way. There's no way that's happening. There's no way. Hold the phone. Alright? Spoilers. You what? Don't even tell me. Th those are spoilers. You don't even want to know, okay? La and besides, like I mentioned, the last thing I want is to be is to be spending child welfare, okay? That's way past overdue, okay? I won't tell you. Tor, besides, he's never told me anyways. The only thing he told me was that somehow you are responsible for the death of his master and creator, Mr. Yutaka. Double faces turn to heaven and earth, tracking you down. Not to mention he's given full control of the synthos to Carnum Vex at his disposal. Kick it up. My body aches. What the hell? Thought I killed off all of the synthos back when I was on Exune. Long story. Possibly for another time for y'all. Who are you talking to? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, nobody. Uh, just, just uh, the audience. Um, uh, th this dead YouTube channel. The audience. These viewers. And when I say audience, I allegedly mean a bunch of purple squirrels are sitting right there. Okay, on that chair. Yaha! Made you look, made you look. I'm sorry. It's a little cuckoo in the brain. Look, Tor, I'm serious. Look, I, I know, I know, I know you are. It's part of this is, is, is this shitty script, man. Devilface has Carden Vex and his Synthos in the New York State in the year 2017, I believe. Devilface is planning to take over the Earth in that time zone. <clears throat> yes, yes. I know when I was on Fleet Ship last, I found a chip containing information that confirms Cardin and Fleet were working together, still working together after all these years. Son of a bitch. You're saying that Cardin and... Vleet have been working together? I should have known. If only I had known where Carnivex was hiding. Or better yet, where Delface is. I want to tear him a goddamn new one because of this. Forty goddamn years of the... Ugh. Well, Billy, you're in luck. Alright. While I was uh, busy destroying the Death Comet, the largest ship of the Stark Fleet, I, uh... I managed to save one of my hired guns that was still on board on that ship before it was blowing up. And, uh, long story short, I brought him over here and, uh, we chilled out. He healed ourselves up and I was just, believe it or not, going to the cargo hold at the time. Grabbing some weapons, additional weapons and stuff. And, Lord be Jesus, Delaface appeared out of nowhere. Teleported inside this ship right here. Killed the... My, one of my mercs, which I've forgotten his name right now, blew his head off right here, right where I'm sitting. And then over there, Commander Staug, the Stog, captain of this rusted raptor, he got his head blown off by the son of a bitch. So, right after that, when I heard the gunshots, I immediately grabbed the uh, nearest weapon I could find, which was this... Uh, blow dart gun, arrow gun thing, I don't even know what it is. Some makeshift gun that shoots uh, arrows with a very potent, powerful sleeping agent. Which I shot Devilface in the neck and bo bada boom bada bing, I knocked out uh, Devilface. Is he here? What? He's, he's here? He is here on this ship? 
Yeah, he's here on the ship. Then we should go and kill him when we have the chance. That guy's gotta pay for what he's done to both of us. Not until we interrogate him first and find the location of Karn Vex's hideout. And I have a good idea where that hideout is, to believe it or not. But I'd like to know for sure. As a matter of fact, I actually hold the phone. I don't even think we need to really, per se, interrogate Devilface. Because I think I've been there before. Shot some sort of robot. Robot looked familiar. I don't know. We're going to have to interrogate him first, okay, Billy? Don't worry about your old dead body. If you were about to say you're about your dead body, don't worry about it. It's getting fixed right now as we speak. Right? Now, I just, what I need you to do right now, Billy, is just walk around, get used to your surroundings, put on this mask, which I have somewhere around here. Oh, yeah. Here. Put that on. All right. Walk yourself around the room. Get a feel for your surroundings. Last thing I want is you to get badly hurt. All right. Okay. All right. Well, that being said, time to test out this uh, old pistol. Vintage NCR. 2063 high powered ballistic pistol. Hell yeah. All right. Let's go, Greg, get Devil Face. <clears throat> in the not so distant future, in the year 2123, a cyborg was born, or will be born, depending on how you how one views this this cyborg cultured and created and molded with the my DNA somehow apparently look I, I, I'm just as confused as you guys I mean <clears throat> moving on <clears throat> augmented with a specialty designed neural net processor embedded in the brain and integrated with a series of muscle enhancements. His name was Johnny Blade, aka Devilface. A prototype Series 3 Mark 7 Enforcer class NCR construct, built and designed by the company called Biotech Utaka Industries. A company similar to Microsoft mixed with Monsanto and Space Aids. Yeah. It's a really bad company, let's just say that. I, I, re I mean, I have no words to describe how terrible and powerful that company is. Hunting down anomalous creatures and beings and objects to be used for the development for future construct weaponry. Funding weapons to an ultra-socialist group called the NCR, the New Canadian Republic. Not to mention working with alongside with the most powerful aliens on Earth. The Tau Thatch Hydra. At the age of 19, Johnny Blade, a.k.a. Devilface, was sent on his first mission. To prove himself. To infiltrate and destroy a foundation base in the scorched ruins of the United States. Escorted by other older base model constructs like the Series 2 Mark 10s. To retrieve several time bracelets from the foundation. Devilface killed 58 personnel in the facility. All 58 of them. And from there on out, the NCR now had a means to secure the past. Basically like an insurance policy. Kind of like with in the uh, series Terminator, where they send an infiltrator back in time to secure the future for their existence. For the next 10 years, Johnny, or I like to call him Devilface, would do a number of assassination missions of various resistant leaders in the years that followed. 
Not to mention assassination missions within the past. However, in around the year 2143 and 2144, the NCR began to collapse. Canada started to lose control of occupied countries in Europe, Asia, the Middle East, and of course, in South America. Devilface was sent not only to protect the NCR in the past, but to, in effect, like I said, to change the future. Which that leads to me and Devilface and our many encounters throughout time and space. I got this. I got this. Just give me... Give me a second. A hollow you were in. Right? Now we're nothing. Is the audio okay? I'm not sure. Fuck it. We'll do it. We're doing it live. Sorry about the little static and you here inside this room. Let's just say the ship is in still in a little bit of desperate repairs. As you can see, I got some of the lighting working inside this room. Power cables, ion, doohickeys. I've forgotten half the names of all the components and internal components of this ship. However, it's still falling apart. Poor girl. Got a bit of grease and shit. Either way, gotta say though, Devil Face, really like the, your pistol. Single shot, 22 caliber. Not to mention you got smart bullets. Bullets that act like missiles, especially guided. So you hit your targets. I'm guessing it's because of the things inside your mask, the computer components that allow you to pretty much lock on target onto anything that you want to kill. Very impressive, I, I gotta say. Which explains a lot why you managed to shoot me a bunch of times in our little confrontations all those years ago, especially on the planet of Exune. Especially with the Voldarian Empire and the Princess of Voldarium. Remember? You're not very much the talkative type. Damn. I mean, shit. I'm always the quiet type. Well, before you get interrogated here by Billy in the back room there, he's kind of working on the sh shotgun. Well, my shotgun, but it's his now. I caught you multiple times. Alright? Caught you on the camera. Right, you see here? This thing was like placed up on the roof. Caught you here teleporting in my room. When? Here? When? What do you mean when? Well, right after when I defeated the uh, the stog. Oh, remember? Yeah. Yeah, you, I remember. Yeah, now, now you remember. Now you remember. You, you flipping. Flipping, I don't even have the words to describe how how of a loser and, 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 and such a little scumbag you could be by placing a bomb in my ship. I know all about it because I got it on tape when I was beating up Commander Stogue on on my ship after he, he got caught. Long story. At any rate, not only that. I know you were on my ship and tried to blow it up, but I also know your dealings, your boss, Conan Vex, and your dealings with Stog, and the South Hatch Hydra on this chip here. Not to mention from good old Dr. Cool of the old Five Council, knows about you and your workings with the Chaos Insurgency. Huh. Of course I did. 
Right, well, we'll see about that. Actually, to be honest, all we really want to know, me and Billy over here, wants to know is, who are you exactly? Because, I mean, let's face it, I, I only know you as just really a, an assassin, only legend, name. The only thing I do know about is that you 100%, maybe 98, 99% of the time, you kill your targets or your uh, people around you. You kill any witnesses that see you, you make sure they're dead. I mean, you, you, do, you do a lot of terrible things. I, I mean, I have a hard time even trying to express my, uh, I don't know, not feelings, but uh, I don't know, I can't really quite collect my thoughts. I mean, you have done some incredibly horrible things. But then again, that's me calling the kettle black. I've done some terrible, horrible things myself. Unspeakable things. Massacred entire planets. Killed piles of people. But you? You see, you you haven't killed as many people as I have, but you, you, you just plain sick. Twisted. So devil face, I'm gonna have you be interrogated by this guy here. Now this guy here, Billy, he used to work for you. And then you left him for dead on my ship. And you knew damn well that I would either do something like teleport him into space. That was intentionally in space. But he ended up being in a cloaked stog ship, which was the rusted raptor 40 years ago. And he became a stog. Then I managed to save him by placing his consciousness into a cybernetic body. So without further ado, double face, I'm gonna watch you get tortured and interrogated. All right, Billy, go ahead. Ask him you wanna do your own thing. Where to begin? <sighs> Oops, hit the camera button.